welcome you all students come back to our next video in previous class you have learned about what is force and definition of force so what is the definition of force shall we recall that s a force is a push or pull upon an object resulting from the object interaction with another object this is the definition of force and now today we are going to see about the effects of force before we seeing that we can learn some of the new words first word is motion m o t i o n motion direction d i r e c t i o n direction effects e f F E C T S yes, effects bounces B O U N C E S bounces push P U S H push so these are some of the new words students motion direction effects bounces push so now we move on to a topic Today we are going to see about the effects of force. Effects of force. The changes to the force can bring about is called as effects. When a force is applied on a body, the following effects can be seen. First, a force is most times acceleration. F equal to m into a. that means an object with heavy mass needs stronger force to move with same acceleration as an object with light mass for example it is easy to push an empty supermarket cart than a full one as a full cart has more mass than empty one so more force is needed to push the full cart than empty cart second a force can make a stationary object move for example When you hit a ball with a cricket bat it means the force can increase the speed of a moving object if force is applied in the direction of the motion of the object however it is not necessary that the force will always take the stationary object move for example if you push a heavy object like a bus or truck single handedly it will not move these objects remain stationary because the force applied by us is not sufficient to move the body activity to show that force can move an object take a pencil and keep it on a table top and strike a pencil with your finger now you can see that pencil moves the head this shows that force applied can place this object third a force can change the direction of a moving object For example, a batsman changes direction of a moving ball by hitting the cricket bat. You can change direction of the carom coin when you hit it at an angle by the striker. Fourth, the force can stop a moving object. If force is applied in the direction opposite to the motion of an object, its speed will decrease and after some time the body will stop. For example, a moving bicycle or car can be stopped by brakes. The brakes will apply force in the opposite direction of the motion. Activity. To show the force can stop a moving object, take a tennis ball and roll it on a table top. Ask your friend to stand on another side to catch it. When your friend catches the ball, The motion of the ball stops hence force can stop the moving object. Fifth, a force can change the shape or size of an object. For example, when an inflated balloon is pressed between the two hands its shape changes. When a spring is pulled beyond its limits its shape changes. The shape of a gel tube changes when it pressed or squeezed. Similarly, 
The shape and size of a ball changes when it presses two hands. The shape of the iron strike changes on having. 6. A force can increase or decrease the motion of an object. When a force is applied on a moving body, it can bring about a change in the speed of a moving body. It's depending upon a direction in which a force is applied. For example, when we give push to a moving swing, we make it move faster. When we apply a force in the opposite direction, we make the swing slow down. Unit of force The SI unit of force is the unit is denoted by letter Newton N. A force of 15 Newton can be denoted by 15 N. Okay students, I hope that you have clear understand about the topic of effects of force. And this is your follow-up work. List the effects of force. You can write the five headings and you can take any one heading and write one real life example. I see you in the next video students. Thank you students.